Hey guys, it's Baby Girls back again. And today we're going to be making pumpkin bread. So follow these directions and you'll know how to make pumpkin bread at the end of this video. So yeah, I'm going to start off with the ingredients. The first ingredient you'll need is two thirds cups of shortening. The second ingredient that you need is two and two thirds cups of sugar. Then you will need four eggs. And then you need one pound of pumpkin. Then you'll need two thirds cups of water. Then you will need three and one third cup of flour. Then you will need two teaspoons of baking soda. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of ground cloves. And two thirds cups of chocolate chips or you can add more or less to your liking. And you can also add nuts or raisins. Now on to the materials that you will need. First you'll need an electric mixer with the blenders. Then you will need a spatula. Then you will need a little spatula. Then you will need a whisk. Next you'll need a large mixing bowl. This is 5.5 quarts. One to two small bread pans depending on how much you are making. Next, you'll need two large bread pans, depending on how much you need. Now, let's move on to blending the ingredients. In our next clip, you might hear some background noise. It's just us spraying our pans. You usually want to um, butter it or spray it and then flour the pans. The first thing you want to do is heat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So first off, in the large bowl, you want to pour in your two-thirds cups of shortening. Now you're going to put in your sugar. Now you're going to stir the shortening and sugar together until it's fluffy. The consistency of the shortening and sugar after it's blended should look like this. Feel free to use a spatula to scrape the sides. Now you're going to put in your four eggs. And now you can put in your pumpkin. Remember you need one pound. Um, if you're like, if you don't really care about precise, then just like estimate it or get something that's exactly one pound. But for us, we would like to be precise, so we're actually going to measure out one pound. So if you are using a scale, just to remember to max out the um, weight of the bowl. Okay, so this is a little bit over one pound. Okay, so that's like one pound, oh five, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, if you get one of these huge things, there's like some left over. So... Now you have our pound of pumpkin, you're going to mix this in that big bowl. And then the last ingredient before um, you blend again is your water. Okay, now you're going to add in your flour. Now put in your soda. And now the salt. Your baking powder. Cinnamon. And cloves. Now mix until all these ingredients are well combined. Okay, and now um, whether you're going to add in raisins, nuts, walnuts, um, chocolate chips, 
on the recipe it says two thirds cups, but we love chocolate chips, so we're gonna add in like about a cup. Now with this, you can either blend it in, or if you want them to be more, more like wholesome, then you can fold it in with a spatula. Now for each pan that you're filling, whether it's a small or a large pan, fill it halfway. Once you've filled it, just tap it lightly on the counter to get out all the air bubbles. Our batter ended up only filling one small and two large bread pans, but it depends on how much you add. So now you're going to put in your bread in the oven, in your heated oven, for 60 to 70 minutes. Or until you stick in a toothpick and it comes out dry.